The national art form of Australia is the bush poem, a unique form of expression that combines the spoken word with wearing a hat. If you drive from Burke to Charleville or you catch the monthly bus, Christ alone knows why you'd want to, but there are those of us who must. And you peer out through the windscreen, through the film of dust and dirt, chances are you'd still not notice the parched farm of Mitchell Burt. There are those who farm for boom times and who can't survive the drought, and a few who push on longer while the money withers out. And there's a couple who transcend the sun, the dust, the hurt. There's a couple and another bloke. And then there's Mitchell Burt. Few knew when he started farming and there's fewer by the day and when he really hit his straps is difficult to say but as rain and profits dwindled, as kids aged and moved to town, Mitchell Burt, he just got better. He just got that farm shit down. And as he approached his 80s with time's wind upon his back and his bones became as liable as bullwhips to hear crack, if you watched him work the fields alone and on into the night, you'd be forced to recognise you're watching someone get something right. And as yet another harvest ended, as so many had before, the wide world finally bet its dusty up to Mitchell's door. It wasn't fans or friends or family, they all left him well alone, but the national broadband network bringing fibre to the home. Now Mitchell Burt was no computer geek, as well you may expect, and he wasn't someone with a great desire to connect, but he was also the last man on earth to let a resource lie there idle, because he knew that many idle farmers wound up, well, suicidal. He drove half a day and back again and bought his first PC. Became the first man on earth to read a manual thoroughly. He plugged it in and switched it on and stood there on the shore of a sea of possibility like he'd never seen before. Now if you fly to South Korea, and there's reasons why you would, if you're into electronics then you definitely should, then you might note with interest, it might give you pause for thought, that multiplayer StarCraft is a national televised sport. Now StarCraft is a computer game as many of you know released in 1998 it has not ceased to grow and for the folks in South Korea it's an entire way of life and the pros can earn a fortune playing StarCraft without strife. The good players are really good it's a treat to watch them play and the best players are incredible there's nothing more to say but there's one player the best players refer to in voices hushed with awe and his name is Cyber Warrior 768100. Now Cyber had never lost a game, not ever, not once, not one. And he could make the game do things no one had ever done. He was quite simply the best the game has ever seen, which is pretty good considering he was only just 13. His mind works differently, others felt compelled to say. He sees the game as music, he conducts, he doesn't play. So come World Cyber Games 13, it should come as no surprise that there was only one contender that was thought would take the prize. The first few rounds unfolded, there was little worth reporting. The seeds played more or less to form, the conduct fairly sporting. The lesser players struggled and were quickly pushed aside, and Cyber took the entire thing completely in his stride. But then come the round of 16, there was heated conversation, which by the quarterfinals turned to outright consternation. An unknown, unseated player had put the others on alert. And his StarCraft player handle, it was simply Mitchell Burt. Chat rooms went into overload and Twitter was aflame. Could this be someone from Korea playing by a different name? But it wasn't, they discovered. Just an old bloke on a farm. When he played the game at all was enough to cause alarm. And there's not a person living who can easily explain how a farmer from the outback found his way into the game. Perhaps a breadcrumb trail of clicking led him deep into the woods. But how he got there barely matters. Because the fact is, he was good. By the semis, it was clear that this was something unforeseen. He wasn't quick or smart or devious, far from it it would seem. Just a good man with deployment of quite limited resources who could marshal single-handed, diverse military forces. Because Mitchell Burt had worked it out early on that first day that Starcraft from rural farming was not a million miles away. A crop duster and a Protoss Corsair. He could see the parallel. And a Zergling was a wild dog, as far as he could tell. And that only left the question of where you spent your time. And that was something Mitchell Burt could figure out just fine. So he scorched the semi-finals and that only left one more. And his name was Cyber Warrior. 768124.
At last the fateful day arrived, the day that was to see just exactly how this run would end in loss or victory. Server's word, the game began. The web had held its breath, and forces they collided in a maelstrom of death. Now Mitchell Burt was not too shabby and he gave it a fair crack. He was pretty good on defence and acceptable in attack, but Cyber was unstoppable. His play was off the scale. Till finally he made a move to end this fairy tale. He marshalled all his forces in the perfect pincer horde and Mitchell's base was overrun, his men put to the sword. But then, it wasn't possible. Just when it seemed the game had ended, well that base was just a decoy and Mitchell's real forces descended and so they fought it out in a final blitz beyond compare and all across the internet there was naught to do but stare until the final end was signalled with a single text alert. The game was over, finally. The winner, Mitchell Bird. Before he switched his screen off, there was farming to be done. He typed slowly in the chat window a message one on one. Cyber, I couldn't help but note, and I'm not one to pry, but I'd say you're a born farmer. One day, give it a try. So if you drive from Burke to Charleville or you catch the monthly bus, Christ alone knows why you'd want to, but there are those of us who must. You do yourself a favour if you stop and knock the door of the youngest, newest farmer. Cyber Warrior 768124